Alrighty, 100 push-ups for 30 straight days. I've always heard about this and always want to try it. I've heard not so great things and I've heard some great things. So I'm really pumped to see the results. Let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so we have the starting point. We got 38 inches, so let's see what happens. It's hard to see, but 38. There we go. Beauty. So the only other chest volume I'm doing is two chest days. Basically, I'm gonna be doing this every single day. I'm gonna do it nice and flat, no incline, no decline. And it's gonna be roughly shoulder width, and we'll see how the improvements take place. Day one begins, training camp. Let's go. Come on. down I'm thinking I'll probably go 33 33 34 and that'll be day one we'll see how it goes train chest today too yep day one complete alrighty this time we're doing it before the gym so Get a nice little, I guess you could say, warm up before we start cranking out. Good back day. <laughs> day two done. Day three, it is 10 p.m., definitely a lesson learned. Gotta get it done early in the morning, but a challenge is a challenge. Let's get it. Set. Yeah, 35. No, no, finish. 100. Uh, Let's go. Day three. Even just a few days in, I'm realizing how important the power of discipline is and consistency. I've always known it, but any 30 day challenge is honestly incredible as long as it offers some sort of benefits because past the results that you can get, just the fact that you just show up no matter how you're feeling, no matter how tight your time is, no matter what, there's no excuses. You have to do it. Josh did the cold shower, which is going to be posted soon. I did journaling for 30 days. I'm doing push ups now. And I feel like, especially if you want to integrate new habits into your life, when you do these types of things, it's definitely a great way and a great intro to doing that. Day five is complete. My chest is super sore, my shoulders. I also blasted a huge push day yesterday, so not really sure. I think it's just a bunch of things happening, but oh man, day five is already quite challenging with all the extra training as well. I'm not exactly sure what day it is, but we're still going strong, haven't missed a day, 100 push-ups. Let's go. Another realization I had was just how incredible of an exercise push-ups actually are. They fatigue your chest, they target your shoulders, your triceps, and it's just an incredible thing to be doing, especially if you don't have access to a ton of weights. And there's also a lot of different regressions to help you build up. I truly believe everyone should be able to do push-ups with their body weight, so it's a great thing to practice. And if you do want to learn how to do it and try some different variations, click the second link down below. We'll teach you how to try some different things and to help build up to as many push-ups as possible. I will say, only 50 down. Definitely the hardest part is doing it on days that it's chest day. Absolutely crush chest for like an hour and a half. All the push muscles, the shoulders, the triceps, and then doing push-ups a couple hours after. It's a challenge, but we're staying consistent. Alrighty, and we are staying super consistent. Time to get another 100 down, even if I don't feel like it. Let's go. So one thing I've been really trying to do is avoid just doing half reps. I've been trying to go all the way to the top, straighten my arm, and just make the most of it, especially when doing 100 a day. It's very easy to just want to get through it and uh, get them done with, but trying to get the most of it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. 
And at this point, I decided to try something a little bit different. I wanted to start habit stacking. So I didn't have to set any reminders. I didn't have to do it in an inconvenient time or when I would potentially forget. And that's a great thing about habit stacking. It's where you take one habit you do every day and you pair another one with that that you're trying to build up to. So for me, just push-ups. I was trying to just build this habit and you know do it every day and stuff. So obviously, um, getting into the gym and just doing it at the end of my workout was a great way. It was awesome because I was also fatigued at that time. So it added some more challenge, I guess you could say, on top of the challenge already. So habit stacking is a great way to just build a habit. So give it a shot. Some days are definitely harder than others, especially with my current workout structure. Today was going for a one rep max bench press against one of my buddies and hit 280. Check it out here. Bro, my arms are shaking. Come on, KG, let's go. And yeah, so this was literally the last thing I wanted to do, but at the end of the day, staying super consistent with it, doing 100 push-ups a day, 3,000 push-ups total, and we'll see what the results are. Stay tuned. And there are so many great variations to do push-ups, especially if you are getting to the point where you're advanced and it's easier for you. You can do it nice and slow on the way down. You can do close grip to target your triceps more. You can do pike push-ups to target your shoulders, incline, decline. There's so many amazing things. Another great realization, I just did flat the entire time, but a lot of times I was thinking, oh man, there are so many amazing things to do um, to challenge yourself with some push-ups. So I think where a lot of people struggle when they embark on some sort of challenge is that they think that one small thing is going to fix everything. For example, I'm going to do 100 push-ups, my chest is going to go crazy. You know, if I do 100 sit-ups a day, then I'm going to get abs and all this other stuff. But they don't take a bigger picture look at everything. And I find that the most success and the best success usually comes from doing a combination of things. So if you're looking to lose weight, if you're looking to get to the next level, it's not just about doing crunches or like doing one small thing. It's about dialing in your nutrition, having a good strength training program, Program, focusing on stress and sleep management, maybe adding in some ab training and stuff like that. So it is definitely something to think about. Um, and I just want to share that little insight because once again, I've had a really good solid training program. I've been hitting chest two times per week, I've been actually trying to gain some size, steadily gaining about half a pound per week. So of course, there's always going to be lots of amazing changes from that. Not just doing 3000 pushups over the last 30 days, but doing boom, 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 and adding everything up and it's going to, uh, you know, get you to the next level. So that's all I got there. The moment of truth. 23 and a half. What the heck? Oh, is that the wrong one? No. 23. Wait, what? <laughs> He's got Frank. <laughs> I was, that was good. I was legit like, bro, I've been working hard. I didn't shrink. I don't All think. Right, let's see where we actually are here. Whoa. So it was 38 before, what are we at? Almost 39, 38.75, get the camera in here. Look at that. Sweet. Your hands are in the way. Look at that, almost an inch of growth, the lean mass, lean muscle on the chest. 30 days, it's pretty cool. It's uh, been doing a lot of stuff, which has been fun, right? Two bench presses a week, really trying to increase that increased calories so once again similar to Josh's cold shower challenge it's hard to attribute everything combined but at the end of the day it is really cool because I mean I've done 3,000 push-ups it's been a fun challenge can't say I'll necessarily do it going forward but I'm really excited to just like incorporate it into my daily chest routine and just continuously do more of them so yeah give it a shot if you want but uh, at the end of the day nothing beats training really hard doing a proper strength training program and uh, hitting chest at the gym with heavier weights with progressive overload now one small thing I personally don't believe that I actually really got that much better in push-ups I do believe a lot of other people can see tons of progress and just some meaningful change. But I think for me, it really depended on the day, my recovery, what I previously did. There would be some days where I would be able to do 50, 60 in a row, no problem. And then there'd be other days that I was super sore from a previous bench press day or whatever it was, and it wasn't as easy. So I didn't find that I saw like great progress throughout in terms of just my ability to do it, but it was more so kind of up and down really depending on the day. That's just something I experienced, but I do think that some people may have some different experiences as well. So all in all, it was a fun challenge. It was very interesting, it held me accountable. Uh, one of the biggest things I will say is I would be very curious to see 
the differences and just see how someone would transform who's just gotten into the gym, someone who's a beginner, who can still push up their body weight and do those incredible things, how the difference would take place. For myself, I've been lifting for many years. The one gripe that I do have with push-ups is the fact that it's very hard to get progressive overload through them, whereas on a bench press, you just increase the weight, you know, sets, reps, all that other stuff, and it's just quite easy. Past that, I do genuinely believe every single person should be able to push up their own body weight. And I know this may be challenging for some people who wanna embark on this challenge, but you can definitely take some time to build up, to just get better and better and better. And I do believe that doing either incline push-ups or eccentric push-ups where you spend some time on the way down, you let your body hit the ground, you reset, and you continuously get better at using your body weight to do push-ups, you will see some great progress over time and you'll get some great results from that. So that's all I have. Give this challenge a shot if you want. Let me know how it goes and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Peace and love always. Cheers.